All right, Bola Buddies, we are back at the bins, and this day I was pretty much the first one in the door, as you could see. No competition, heading straight to the hard goods, my favorite place to go at the Goodwill bins. Where is your favorite place to go? Do you head to the clothes, the shoes, the purses? Let me know down in the comments. So what I like to do in my Goodwill Bins videos is I like to ask everyone to participate. And what do I mean by that? I want you to tell me in the comments if you see something that I missed, something that you would have picked up that I left behind. And put a timestamp down in the comments to let us know what time in the video to go look at so we can see which item you would have picked up and kind of tell us why it's a bolo to you. What is a bolo? An item to be on the lookout for. Now, to me, a bolo can be something that's big money. I call those the big money bolos. But a bolo is just anything that I like to pick up on a regular basis that is going to make me money. I don't necessarily think a bolo has to be big money. I just think it has to make me money. So... What is your best bolo? What are things that you look for? All right, I do check out movies. I have a tendency to pick up DVDs if they are sealed. I have a lot of those over in my whatnot store. So I just price them pretty cheap. And then when people come to my live shows, they can bundle those with their purchases and get discounted shipping. So I've been trying to put my DVDs over there. Uh, sometimes I'll put them on eBay as well. It really just depends. If you guys haven't checked out Whatnot, it's an awesome platform. I do go live over there and I sell things auction style. And if you want to check it out, you can use my referral link down below. That will get you $15 to shop when you join Whatnot. So check that out and I hope to see you guys at a show. Even if you don't buy anything, join, come over, check out a show. It might be a place that you want to sell. All right, let's see what else we can find. I am looking at these jeans because somebody had picked them up, put them in their cart, and threw them back into the hard goods. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I should look at this brand. Maybe this is good. Who knows? Uh, but I left those behind. I don't pick up a whole lot of clothing. I used to be a full-time clothing reseller quite a while ago and just kind of, I guess, experienced some burnout and decided to become a hard goods reseller. So that's what I do now. I focus on toys, plush, uh, vintage, different items that maybe some people wouldn't pick up. I even sell broken items. Now right here is a bop it. And these can go for big money, especially if you can find them sealed in the package. Uh, if they're not sealed in the package, they're definitely not going to go for as much. But any new old stock toys Keep an eye out for those and always look them up. Those were light bright pegs. I think those were newer ones. If you find the old ones, I have sold those in the past as replacements. So that's one thing that you can pick up. I did leave those behind, however. All right, we're gonna keep on digging here. Envelopes. Should I have grabbed the envelopes? Would you guys have grabbed them? office supplies. So sometimes you can find things at the bins that you can use in your house. Let me know something at the bins that you look for for personal use. Is there anything that you go and buy for personal use? Now this is a bolo. However, this one was in really bad condition. I'm pulling up some solds from eBay just to give you guys an idea of what what they're called, number one. Um, I always have to use Google Lens on those because I can number never remember what they're called. But um, yeah, those are a bolo. And it depends on which one you find. Some go for more depending on the ears or whatever you call those, the antlers, uh, ears, antlers. I don't know if it's really called antennas <laughs> and what color it is. So some are harder to find than others. But if you find them, they have like this really uh, kind of a silicone feeling body. They're very different and they dance and wiggle and sing. So, um, or play music. I can't remember. It's been a while since I listed them or listed one. I have sold two or three in the past. So definitely pick them up. I usually find them at garage sales, but that one, it was just in not good condition. 
they have a tendency to kind of tear the material and it can get really dirty. So um, those I will leave behind. Just not worth it. Somebody's probably not going to buy one if it's in really poor condition. All right, let's keep digging here. Um, I don't know what that was, but I put it back and it looked interesting. Does anybody know what it was? Should I have picked it up? Little horse. Uh, a lot of times I will pick those up. I actually just recently sold a little plastic horse um, on eBay and it was a bread and butter. I want to say eight to $12. I can't remember what it sold for, but it took a long time to sell. Those items typically are going to be more long tail, but people will come along and they will buy them. You just have to be patient. Um, I'm typically a list it and forget it type of reseller. I will leave the items in my store. I do not do like inventory and donate or do anything like that. I had a couple pair, a pair of pants and a shirt that had been in my store probably for eight years, maybe a little longer that sold the other day. I mean, they just finally sold the right buyer finally came along and I made money. So uh, yeah, you can sell things that have been listed for a long time. It just, sometimes it takes the right buyer. And the reason I know how long I've had them listed is because I have not sold clothing for a long time. And one was a pair of Fashion Bug pants. And Fashion Bug went out of business a long time ago. And I, this is back when I did clothes, I kind of bought out a lot of the store because it was super, super cheap. So I know that's a really old listing. You know, I'm thinking that was, I think before my husband and I got married. So maybe that listing was over 10 years old. Um, I did have duplicates. So I will say some of them sold faster than others. And that one pair of pants was just hanging around. Now the blouse I sold, it had not been listed as long. That is so funny to think about. Um, I, is this a tree skirt? Maybe I should have picked that up. Would you guys have picked that up? Was it a tree skirt? I'm not really certain. Some things you see at the bins and you're just kind of like, I don't even know what that is. And I am sure there are lots of things that I just pass by. Like this witch. Maybe I should have got that witch. I think that that was like some sort of flag or banner or something that you hang outside. But it was Halloween. And Halloween does really well. Especially vintage Halloween. If you have not seen my vintage Halloween bolo category videos, oh my goodness, you got to go check it out. You can find those on, I have a playlist for category videos. That's where I pick one specific category and I list, or I'm sorry, I research it and show you guys all of the items that sell for big money in that category. It's a great way to learn. It helps me learn and it helps you guys learn. I did pick up some of these cards and I sold those over on Whatnot. So uh, Whatnot is awesome. I absolutely love it. I mostly sell jewelry over there, but I do have some this and that vintage shows. I have sold vintage clothing. Um, it kind of just depends on what I source. And yeah, but it's a great way to move inventory quickly. There's no long tail with whatnot. I did pick up this little dinosaur. Like I said, I like to pick these types of toys up and they are typically bread and butter and take a while to sell, but they usually eventually sell. So here's some more of those cards. And I just made a little pile and I sold them on whatnot. People will junk journal with these. Some people collect them. Uh, it really just depends. But greeting cards, especially the vintage ones, they will sell. So definitely something to consider. And they don't weigh much. So I had pennies in those. Did I sell them for a lot of money on whatnot? No. But did I make a profit? Yes. And that's what, that's what you're doing on whatnot. Now, sometimes you have an item and two or three people really want it and your items get a lot of bids. And sometimes your items go for your asking price. So you have to decide what kind of business model you have want to have over on whatnot. And more cards. So uh, vintage invitations, vintage greeting cards, all of those things are kind of considered ephemera, old stickers, uh, paper products. Those items will sell. Again, a lot of them are going to be long tail, but some of them can go for really big bucks. So postcards, old postcards are a great thing to find. 
I sold a big batch of old postcards the other day on whatnot. Uh, I'm not a big postcards person. I don't like the research. I don't like to part them out. Now, I'll part out toys all day long, but postcards, I just don't want to do it. It's so funny because I know people that love ephemera because it's small, it's easy to list, and they love to part it out. But, you know, we are all different, and that's what makes reselling so fantastic is that we can all sell what we want to sell, what we enjoy selling. I will say if you're selling something that you enjoy sourcing and listing, it's going to make your life more fun. One thing that I try to avoid is really big things or things that break because I don't enjoy shipping those items. So therefore, it makes my job less enjoyable and I want to love my job. So um, I have a tendency to stay away from that stuff. Now, if I see it and it's a big money bolo, of course, I'm going to make an exception. But uh, small breakables, I don't mind those. Things that are small that I can just bubble wrap easily. Little figurines, little uh, stuff like that that's breakable. I'm okay with that. I'm talking like dishes and wine glasses and you know stuff like that uh that is an elephant and i did list that so one thing that i would pick up is a glassy baby if you guys haven't heard of glassy babies they are a big money bolo and i have not found one in the wild yet i know they're from a certain state and the people in those states are more likely to find them uh me over here uh, not finding them. So let me know uh, if you have ever found a glassy baby and how much did it sell for? I mean, some go for hundreds, some go for a couple hundred. I've seen them go upwards of 400, sometimes 500, depending on the color. And if you don't know what a glassy baby is, definitely do a little search and make sure you know what to look for because they can be big money. So I would definitely pick up a glassy baby, even though it's a breakable. So we're going to just search in here and I find this little witch. I have this up in my eBay store right now and I have it up for auction. The reason being is that we're kind of in that season where you want to get Halloween items listed because Halloween is sneaking up on us very quickly and people are looking for items. That item appeared to be vintage. It was a yarn doll that somebody probably has handcrafted, probably artisan made. I've got that starting at $29.99 in the buyer pays shipping, and we'll see if it sells. I always try and auction on items that are harder to find, and if it does not sell, then I will put it at a buy it now or best offer, and I typically list things higher than my original auction price. That is just how I choose to run my auctions. I don't do dollar auctions. Uh, this right here is a Justin belt. I've got that up for auction at $49.99. The weird thing about it is on each side, it just had hooks. So I don't know what kind of belt it is. And can you believe it? I found brand new in the package, Jim Shore ornaments. You guys, Jim Shore is a fantastic brand to find. Um, there's little figurines and statues and stuff like that. If you see Jim Shore, um, get to know it. Once you see it, you'll start to recognize it. It has a very distinct look, kind of like Anna Lee. Like once you know it, you know it. Uh, so Jim Shore is kind of the same way. So that was a really nice pickup. I am looking at these hairbrushes. They are goody. Some vintage goody does well. These were not in great condition. So I went ahead and left them behind, but you can sell these items and goody in particular is a great vintage brand that has that nostalgic feeling for people and people love it they've used it and they love it and they want it and they can't get it anymore uh, those two items ended up going back in the bin so that's why you're not seeing pop-ups probably should have picked up that thread and that bag of stuff right there that would have been a good item for whatnot there i have a lot of crafters that follow me and people enjoy buying crafts so um yeah, there was one item I thought that I grabbed out of that box. So I think maybe I come back to that later in the video, or maybe that was in another video. So I did, I was at the bins a long time. So this is a two video series. This is part two. So definitely check out part one here. Here it is. This little item. Um, it's a cheese slicer from my Google 
lens search. I'm like, what is this thing? And Google Lens told me that it slices cheese. Uh, so that item and then this little cutie are both available in my what not buy it now section. So I've been trying to beef up my buy it now section over on whatnot. So if you see something that popped up like that, those items are only available on whatnot. So if you saw that item and you like it and you're not on whatnot already, you can use that $15 to shop that you get free when you join down below with my referral link. Oh, you guys, and I do have Bolo Buddies earrings available. Um, those I introduced in my Bolo category video. It was a Halloween video. So if you want to see what those look like, or you can just go over to my whatnot and they're in the buy it now and they are adorable. They're $5 each and I have a Halloween Bolo Buddies earrings. I have Thanksgiving and then I just have a normal format, but I wanted to get some merch that was more affordable than the sweatshirts and the t-shirts that I have. That link is down below as well. But the earrings are sold exclusively over at Whatnot, and they are awesome. So I hope you guys will definitely go and check those out. Okay, this I just had to pick up. How cute is this? It's a watering can, you guys. It's a fish. It is so cute. So that's available in my eBay store. I kind of feel like it has like that mid-century look. I don't think it is, but super, super cute. Not sure what this was. Maybe I should have picked it up. A lot of people will um, use fabric for crafting and different things like that, but I decided to leave it behind. And we're just gonna keep digging here and see what else we can come up with. Let me know in the comments if uh, you find these videos helpful. I know uh, a lot of you have been asking for some Goodwill Bins videos. I've been struggling to get them up since I started selling on whatnot because I've just been so busy over there, but uh, still getting items listed on eBay. I did list yesterday and that evening I sold five items. So what I will tell you is to list, list, list. The eBay algorithm absolutely loves it when you list and you will sell more items. I thought that I picked up a couple of those ornaments, but I could not find them in my listed items. So I either sat them to the side to protect them and have not listed them yet. I don't know. Or I put them back in the bin. I can't remember. But anyway, I appreciate you guys being here so much. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we're getting pretty close to the end of the video. We do have a little more digging to do here, but I just wanted to make sure I got that in there. And I hope that you guys will follow me and follow me here, follow me on whatnot. I also have a really big Facebook group and I am on Instagram. I am Bolo Buddies across all platforms. Probably should have picked that up, right? Maybe, I don't know. It seemed like it would be annoying to ship. So I put it in my cart, but I put it back. This also seems annoying to ship, <laughs> but I left that in my cart. It was just too stinking cute, too cute. Um, I did find that little dinosaur, it's Lego. Um, I do have that price kind of high right now. I may end up reducing that, but people will look for replacement carts. So if you didn't see a pop-up, it means I haven't listed it yet or I threw it back. I have found a couple remotes recently at uh, the Goodwill Bins and two of them sold really quickly for good money. So definitely look for TV, VCR, VHS, those remotes, ceiling fans, a lot of those can do well, but most of them are bread and butter, but that's okay. You know what? Filling your store with bread and butter is smart because if you only have big money items in there, there may be days upon days that you go without a sale. So stock your store with things that people want to buy that you can make a profit with. That would be my recommendation. A lot of people are like, why on earth did you sell an $8 item? I said, because I had pennies in it and now I have $8, you know, minus, you know, fees and stuff. But $8 is $8. It all adds up. It all adds up. It definitely does. All right, you guys have an awesome, awesome week. Let me know in the comments uh, what your favorite item was or an item that you feel like I missed that you would have picked up. And I look forward to reading those and learning with everybody. So I hope some of the items that I left behind, but I still show, ah, sorry, I can't talk. I still shared some information about, I hope those uh, little tips were helpful as well.
Thanks for watching.